Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Amy the Cali Texan and I have one more Hobby Lobby 90% off video to show with you. Merge with a couple items from Dollar Tree. Benji's back there. He has a fever so he's kind of just in his boxers right now. Um, These are not boxers. It's your underwear. You want to say hi to your fans? Uh, I'll just, look at just, just say hi. It's Cali Texan and her sidekick Ben. Yes. All right. So I did promise Ben that if he did not cry going to kindergarten, he did a whole week without cr crying, that he would go to Chuck E. Cheese. But we have to see because we got to get this fever down, guys. Right, Ben? Yeah. All right. Let's jump into the hall. So I know you guys are probably tired of seeing 90% off at Hobby Lobby. I'm sure you guys are getting there and it's getting picked out and not a lot of stuff left. But there is still some stuff there. I went to three separate Hobby Lobbies and found scores each time. And not all on the first day. It was like a couple days later, a couple days later, and I keep finding stuff. So let me just show you real quick. Some of it is to resell so I can make some of my money back. And I can save some money for California. I have to go to California. Um... My older brother recently passed away, so we're going to do a service for him and, you know, plane tickets, hotels, money to donate to the family, um, that all adds up, gas, food, so I'm trying to make my money back by reselling some of the stuff I got on Hobby Lobby 90% off for a profit. So let me show you what I scooped up, alright? This is another Hot Wheels. It is, like, really big. This one's the monster truck one, so it's a little hard to see because it's so big. But it does have like the Hot Wheels, Hot Wheels monster truck. And then there's another monster truck up here, a blue one. So I did get two of these. They were originally $50, so I only paid five. So now I have two of these. And I did find another one of the blue one that I had. I got two of those. I did decide to keep one of those Hot Wheels uh, for Ben, for the garage, for his room, something. I want to keep one of the blue Hot Wheels. I did like that picture better than the monster trucks. Let me show you that one one more time. Hold on. So this is the one I decided to keep. I got two of these and two of the monster truck ones. They were each uh, $5.00 for a total of $20 per four pictures. But this has like the two race cars on it. And I like the blue banner, the blue Hot Wheel banner on it. I just think this one's a really cool photo. Um, and it would be cool in the garage or once Benji gets his own room. So yeah, they were $5 each and they are huge. So I got two of the monster trucks and two of the Hot Wheel ones. Um, I am gonna sell the rest. I know, Benji, I know. Even if I sell them for 20 bucks each, I mean, that pays for all four of them with one. So then that's a $60 profit if the other three sell for $20. But, you know, the times people are trying to hold on to their money, people are cheap, people don't want to spend what you're asking for when you go sell at the swamp meets. So it's a gamble. Sometimes, you know, sometimes you win, sometimes you don't win as much as you want. But let's see. I did find this one. I really, really liked this photo. I like the white ship lap. It looks very farmhouse to me. It even has like the black and white buffalo check. Super beautiful, right? I love it. I love the little mason jars as the vase with the twine tied around it. Love the sunflowers. Love the love everything. Except I was like not thrilled what is meant to be will always find a way now i know this sounds silly to me because maybe that's a nice saying in my head i picture jurassic park when they're talking about the the female lizards that they only put females in there and then he's telling them like nature always finds a way and boom they start re uh what's the word I forgot the word. They start making babies by themselves and they don't have the mate, the male mate to mate. But it happens, right? 
So I don't know. I just can't get past that. And that reminds me of the Jurassic Park movie so much, which I love the Jurassic Park movie, but to me, it does not match the photo. So I will be selling this. Now this did not have no sticker, no price, nothing. And the girl told me, well, I'm feeling generous. Um, how about we put it for $19.99? That way you pay a dollar $1.20? A dollar twenty is what I paid. So I was like, alright, cool. I will take it for a dollar twenty. Cheaper than Dollar Tree. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try to sell that one next time I go to Swamp Meat. Now there was so much cute wood pieces for a cabin. Um, this one says, Welcome to our neck of the woods. And I love it. Like it's pretty long. Pretty big. It has like the wood pine trees painted in the back. I love it. It was $35, so I paid $350 for it. Now I want my own cabin. We used to go to Big Bear in California. I we went to Yosemite. We rent a cabin for Christmas or we went during the summer one time and we went to the lake. I love that experience so much. I want to own my own cabin. Excuse me. I want to rent it out during the year. I want somewhere to go that's mine for Christmas. Or if there's an emergency, like, hey, like, can you guys make it to the cabin? Like, I have all the supplies at the cabin. Just get to the cabin. Um, maybe I watch too many movies. I don't know. But I want my own cabin. Whether it's like Arrowhead, Big Bear, Lake Conroe, somewhere. I want to own my own cabin. I want to rent it out and I want to decorate it like like this all woodsy with the bears and the deers and there was so much cute bears and deer items and I had to like put myself in check like no Amy one you don't have money to be blowing on stuff right now two you don't have the space to store it right now three you don't have the cabin so I had to put myself in check like not right now but better believe when I do get a cabin, I am going to hit that 90% off sale, I don't know, next year, a few years, whenever it happens. And I'm going to get all the cute decor and decorate my cabin on a budget. I will do a video in the future whenever that happens. Okay. This one I love. And it is also big. You can paint it if you'd like. It says beach house. Super, super perfect if you own a house on the beach. If you rent out a summer beach house, this is perfect. Um, if you own a surf shack, this is great. Um, I don't own a surf shack. I don't own a beach house, but I really, really liked it. I like the shape of it. Like, it looks like a street sign. I like the anchor. Um, $40. I paid $4 for this. So, I mean, maybe maybe God's showing me these things that I want for my... Yes, then that's fine. Maybe God's showing me things to get at a budget during this time. So, I have stuff when I do open my shop. Because my shop, I want it very beachy, be like surfing, skateboarding, like all the fun stuff. Um, very summer California vibes. So maybe this would be a decor piece for my shop when I get my shop. But for four dollars, I was like, I don't know what you're trying to tell me, God, but I'm gonna get it. So I grabbed the big old beach house sign. Love it. This one I got to resell. I can even try to sell it on eBay because it does not have a glass. It's just a frame and it's um, it's Sam as a Captain America and then Bucky, the Winter Soldier. So it kind of is like 3D where it, it changes a little bit when you move it. Um, $22.99 and I paid $2.99. Mm. Actually, that should have been a little bit cheaper. Twenty-two ninety-nine should have been two dollars and thirty cents, but yeah, I, I paid an extra seventy cents, guys. I did. 
So I got that to resell. These I already listed on eBay. I got two of these. And it's this big Hot Wheels tapestry. This would look great in a garage or a man cave. Um, or even like a barber shop. If you own your own barber shop that's like focused towards cars. Um, or a, a kid's room or your husband's room or I don't know. But it's a big tapestry. And this is the photo right here. This race car right here. So... These were $60 from Hobby Lobby. I don't know if Hobby Lobby like purposely overprices. So when they do go in clearance, like I paid $6 for this. But $60 seems like a lot for this. But I got it for six. I got two of them. I did list them on eBay for $45. So let's see how that goes. This one, like, thought they had three Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, look at that one. Yeah. This one did not have a price or a tag. Um it was in it was in the section for 90% off. I personally do not like gnomes. I don't know why. I just don't think they're cute. I don't like them. Um, but this is a nice planner or you could put like your kitchen spoons, your utensils in here, like um, no tag, nothing, right? So I was like, well, I mean, a lot of people do like this. So I've learned when you're selling stuff, it can't always be what you like because people have different likes and tastes. So I think he will sell pretty good. He didn't have no price tag on him. So the girl said, how about 99 cents? I said, I got you, girl. Put them in my bag. So I paid 99 cents for it. Let me wrap him back up before I crack him. Or even if I go and get like a, a cheap plant from Home Depot or Walmart that's on sale, I could probably get it more for it with the plant inside. I did get three of these. To me, they um, would make a really cute gift. So it's a pot holder. And then the back of it is a strawberry little cutting board. Now you can add to it as much as you'd like, different strawberry items. You could put some jam and some pretty knives or something. Um, this was 20, so I paid $2. I got three of them. There was only three, so I grabbed all three. You can make a cute charcuterie board. I don't know. You could put it in a gift basket and make like a whole summer Thing. You could put a bottle of wine, some cheese, crackers, whatever you want, but I just think it's really pretty and simple to make a, a gift for $2. Oh, 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 Maybe I already showed you guys these. This, the strawberries might be from the first um, Hobby Lobby haul. I'm sorry, hey, I apologize. Mommy was that. eating pizza in there. Hey, Mommy was eating pizza. I did find this. They had this one in the Taco Tuesday one. Yep, and so it's a set of three magnets and happy camper, home is where you roam, life is better when you're camping. Like this is so cute, especially if you live in your RV, if you live in that van life, like if you're roaming, like this is cute. It would be cute in a gift basket or just simple like this. I may do a giveaway with something like this. I'm not sure. But it was $8.99, so I paid $0.90 cents for it. Super cute. I did find more boxes. Um, you could, like, do a giveaway or for Mother's Day or... For any event, if you sell strawberries, whatever you sell, small businesses, like this is a great little box. It says, today's good morning is sponsored by coffee. So it looks like a basket. You just lift the little tab. You could do a teacher gift and fill it with supplies. You could put the shred, um, the shredded paper inside, whatever you want. But I got the two sizes, right? 
this one was 60 cents this one was 40 cents so or you could like even stack them like that you could put stuff in the bathroom and just like it looks like a basket um whatever you want to do i thought of oh that'd be nice for my small business i could do a giveaway or i could um you know do a little gift set for christmas mother's day like for whatever i can just like fill it up with some goodies and sell it like so or that could be like the gift wrapped like it's wrapped in the box i don't know thing from Hobby Lobby. I thought this flag thing was very nice and very farmhouse. It has the rooster and it says the happy rooster farmhouse inn. I thought this was so pretty to hang it outside. Um, they were $30 each so I paid $3. I grabbed all of them. There was four of them. So these I do want to try to sell and see how they do if not like at least one of them will look nice outside my house but I thought it was really cool and it's like very light like you can barely see the color on here you just hang it with the little twine so three dollars I grabbed all of them hopefully I can sell them and make some money And I think these should be easy to sell on eBay. You could probably get one of those two mailers um, if they don't sell at the swap meet. Oh, I like That was not the last thing I got from Hobby Lobby. I did find these two Jeep signs. I know Jeep is very popular right now. And these are like flat metal sign so I think I could sell them on eBay and they shouldn't be too hard to ship but it says explore the outdoors Jeep and they were $25.99 so I paid $2.59 each so I got two of them and I'm gonna try to sell them on eBay I don't know maybe 15 20 bucks and then make some of my money back Okay, here's a few items from Dollar Tree. Thanks for sticking with me. Old Orchard. We got the cranberry grape and we got the mango tangerine. So Old Orchard, it's one gram of carbs, one gram of sugars, 10 calories, 64 fluid ounces. This juice is so good. Two grams of carbs, one gram of sugar, five calories. I'm actually really excited to try this one. I grabbed two of these Apple um, Dawn soaps, antibacterial. I already filled up my little soap dispenser, but I actually got a great idea. I know you guys have probably seen the little viral hack going around with the power wash. You fill up the power wash with some Dawn, some water, and some alcohol, and you legit make your own power wash again. I don't know why I never thought of this. It never crossed my mind until right now. I like the apple scent of the power wash. I'm sure if you use the apple scent Dawn, you can make your own apple scent power wash. So I grabbed two of these and I will try it out. $1.25, why not? I did find this the all-purpose peppermint sage. Um, I mean, it's a nice looking bottle. It looks high end and it's not from the Dollar Tree. So I thought I'd try it out, especially since I have ants. I heard they don't like the mint scent. I have an ant problem. Does anyone know how to get rid of ants? Because I'm so tired of these ants getting everything. Last night we ordered pizza and the first pizza we ate, the second pizza that was on bottom was a complete full large pizza. By the time we were done with dinner, I went to put the pizza away that pizza was covered with ants. I had to throw the whole pizza away. I was like really mad about that, but I mean, what can you do? I have ants and it's not like the pizza was on the floor. The pizza was on my countertop. 
the ants just came in and got the pizza. There's one left that the ants didn't get. I grabbed some paper towels. This was the big roll, so I just got some paper towels. Got some napkins. These are the napkins I like to get, but they are a little cheaper at Aldi's. You get more for your money at Aldi's. This one you get fifty for a dollar twenty-five. I grabbed some. What's this? Baking soda. I always confuse baking soda and baking powder, but baking soda. I'm gonna do some laundry with it. And hey. I have, hey, mommy. Where are you really known to be Five Nights at Freddy's? Okay, he wants to be Five Nights at Freddy for Halloween, guys. And it's going to be Foxy. Foxy, me? No, Foxy. Okay. Dog treats. Today is National Dog Day, guys. So if you have a picture of your dog, post a cute picture of your dog. I already did mine on on my Instagram story, Kelly Texan eighty six. Go find me. Go see my dog. Um, I got some duck jerky. Love the packaging. It's from Kind Rewards Butcher Butcher Bar. It is resealable. And then I got on the little steaks, the beef and cheese flavor steaks. I love the packaging. Love love getting him these little treats um, from the Dollar Tree. So I got these two. I've been scooping up these little four packs of alkaline water for Ben every time I see them. Um, he he does take his little water bottles to school, but his bottle is always empty, so I've been packing him one extra water bottle to go. And they're the perfect size for him. They really are. So it's alkaline 65, pH 9.5 balance. You get four little baby bottles. I don't honestly know what's the difference with the lighter colored packaging and the darker it may just be the color of the bottle. I'm not sure. If anyone knows, please let me know. Um, but every time I go to the Dollar Tree and I find them, I grab two just so I can stock up for him. All right, guys. That's it. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Go uh, go out, explore, make some memories, go have some fun. Go grab some deals somewhere. Go to Dollar Tree, Hobby Lobby. Um, tomorrow is National Cinema Day. August 27th, Sunday, tomorrow only, no matter where you live, AMC, Cinemark, um, The Grand, Regal, they all have, like, the movie theaters, it's a national thing, guys. Movies are $4. No matter if it's a new movie or not, we are going to go see Blue Beetle tomorrow for $4. That means my family of five are legit going to go see a movie for, a new movie for 20 bucks. Like, you cannot beat that. And even AMC has the $5 combos where you get a small Coke and a small popcorn for $5, guys. Go to the movies tomorrow, National Cinema Day, and tag me on Instagram if you score and you go to the movies tomorrow, all right? Bye, guys. See you later. Give me a big thumbs up. Love you, guys.